Hey everybody, it's Jaren. I know it's been a while, but I have a word to share. Also, sorry for the bad sound quality. I don't know where my microphone is. I looked for it. I have no idea where it is. Um, so yesterday I was reading my Bible and I was reading Luke chapter 24. Well, I'm just going to read the scripture. Um, then the two from Emmaus told their story of how Jesus appeared to them as they were walking along the road and how they had recognized him as he was breaking the bread. And just as they were telling about it, Jesus himself was suddenly standing there among them. Peace be with you, he said. But the whole group was startled and frightened, thinking they were seeing a ghost. Why are you frightened? He asked. Why are your hearts filled with doubt? So this happened after Jesus appeared to the two disciples from Emmaus. After I read that, immediately I just really felt led to pray for the Lord to just help me not expect the worst, you know, because in this scripture, the whole group was startled and frightened. They thought that they saw a ghost, you know, and stuff like this is comforting to me because there's miracles all through the Bible. You think in your mind like, oh, they were just used to this, but they see Jesus appear and they're not like, ah, master, like they're frightened because they're like, we saw you die. Okay. Um, so now you know now they're just like okay what's going on this is not real you know and that was just really comforting and I was like God like can you do something like that for me you know um, I don't want to be like you know filled with doubt because a lot of us have been in our wilderness season well we're not like in the wilderness season anymore um the, the hardships that we're going through are actually part of our breakthrough. Um, and actually a few weeks ago, maybe a month ago, the Lord reminded me of a video I recorded three years ago um, talking about breakthrough. And the Lord had shared that my breakthrough was going to come in a package that initially looked like something bad it, it 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 looks like a curse you know and um the current situation that I'm in I am currently in my grandma's house and things have not necessarily been the most comfortable um there has been a lot of warfare but there has also been a lot of elevation in the midst of the warfare and um I remember one one day as I was just like crying out to God, like just having a really hard time, the Lord reminded me of that word and, and told me that, um, you know, breakthrough would come in a package that did not look desirable, but it would still be my breakthrough. Um, once I opened, <laughs> you know, once I, um, once I explored the, the, the package. So, and, and even the day before I found out that my nephew's mother passed away, I heard the Lord say the training wheels are off. And then the next day that happened and, you know, it it has been very difficult. But even with that situation, the Lord said to me, Jaren, that is not your storm. You know, it's not your storm to pick up. Um, and, you know, I'm a very sensitive person. And so I, I've feel other people's issues very deeply, you know, and uh, the Lord had to tell me to not pick this one up, even though, um, it, you know, it's my own nephew. Um, and, you know, my brother is, you know, he, he had a hard time with it. But anyway, I don't want to get off. I don't want to get off topic. But the Lord shared with me that we are moving into a time for those of us who are out of the wilderness, for those who this word is for. We are entering into a time where God is changing the pattern and how God illustrated this to me is um, so he had been talking about a shift for a few weeks now and I wasn't really sure like you know what all he was saying but yesterday after I had read that scripture and said my prayers um, I had a pile of mail that was sitting uh, on my bed and I decided, okay, let me just open this mail because, um, 
you know, I, I've had it for like a week now. And I mean, I open, you know, I open each one. Every single one was like, this bill is past due. You need to pay this bill. Uh, you know, you're in debt for this. And I was just like, okay, you know, I get it. And then I got to the last one. I was like, I don't even want to open this one. I'm just going to throw it away because it's probably just another piece of mail telling me you need to pay us. And <laughs> I ain't got it, you know. Um, and I knew this was the spirit of God who said this to me because it wasn't you know, it didn't come for me, but I heard in my spirit, what if it's a, what if it's a check? And I was like, it's not a check. I never get checks. I never get random checks in the mail. So, you know, I was just like, why would it be a check? You know, and I opened it anyway, you know, and you guys, it was a check. <laughs> the Lord had told me he had stopped me from throwing it away because I would have been throwing away money and it was like a small amount of money apparently the credit card company that um uh one of the credit cards that i have they had accidentally charged too much interest and so they were sending the difference back to me and you know even though it was like a small amount of money i still thanked god for it because it was more money than i had when i woke up that morning you know and um so I was like, wow, God, like, that's, that's really awesome. Thank you for that, that, that little miracle, you know? And then I, um, so I had been fasting. I, uh, had been fasting for about a month. The first few days, the first three days I was doing a water fast where I was just drinking water. And then the Lord told me to transition to a fast where I was eating after a certain time every day. Well, my grandma had made breakfast yesterday morning and I was helping her and um, she was like, go ahead and make yourself a plate. And I was like, oh, no, that's OK, grandma. Um, you know, I'll eat a little bit later. And as I was helping her clean up, I was uh, I was putting the food away. I heard the Lord just kind of convict me um, and like he kind of just nudged me to ask him if it was okay for me to eat that food. And so when I asked him, he said, yes, he, he told me that he wanted me to eat, you know, what my grandma had cooked for me. And so I um, was eating the food and I was thinking to myself, how long am I supposed to be fasting anyway? And then the scripture came to mind immediately. And, you know, God will do this where he'll respond to my thoughts where he'll just kind of float a scripture in my mind and he uh gave me the scripture about when jesus was responding to the pharisees when they asked him why his disciples don't fast and jesus had told them something along the lines of like when when the bridegroom is present you know the attendees don't mourn you know um and he was just telling them like basically there's no point for my disciples to be fasting right now um because the time has you know that the, it's not the time for them to be fasting um and the lord had told me you know your time for fasting is up that the the purpose for which you started this fast has been completed which was great to me because i had really been doing some um you know heavy warfare <laughs> And, um, so the Lord had, um, ended my fast and I was like, okay, God, like, you know, what, what's next? Like, you know, what, what am I doing next? And my grandma came, she had gone to check the mail. And as I was still eating, she came and she brought me, um, a letter that I had gotten in the mail. And, you know, I thought it was like either a bill or like some letter from, um, you know, just some information that I didn't need. And so, I, again, I didn't really think much of it. And she asked me, she's like, is it a check? And I laughed and I was like, I hope so. You know, that would be really nice if it was, but I didn't expect it to be anything. But I opened it and it turned out to be um, money that I had been expecting um, for quite some time now. And I had no notification that it was coming. I didn't know that it was coming. I didn't even know that it had been like my application had been accepted. And I saw that and I just started crying. Um, because number one, I really needed it. And number two, I just, I was in awe and I was just shocked at the Lord's kindness and, you know, how he had provided like that, you know, and, um, I was sitting and I was thinking about how 
I had gotten the check and then I had gotten this money in the mail on the same day, like back to back. And the Lord just kind of highlighted how in both instances, I did not expect to get a blessing. I did not expect that to happen. And the Lord was just, just sharing with me about, so I was sharing this with a friend earlier um, about how, you know, our minds do what it's been created to do. Our minds will reason, our minds will look for patterns, our minds will respond to patterns. Um, and it's how we keep ourselves organized. It's how we navigate through life. Um, you know, that's just what our minds do. Um, but in times of trauma, in times of hardship, um, because there's been so much hardship, your brain becomes accustomed to that and your brain begins to expect it. Um, so, you know, I don't know if you remember like in school where you had to take those math tests and um, they would give you a sequence and they would expect you to um, infer what the next number would be. So if I said 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, and I expected you to give me the next answer, most of us would say 30 because the precedent had been set that, okay, we're going by fives here. Um, similarly, if I say one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, you would say 10 because that is the next in the natural sequence. If I said red, orange, yellow, green, you would say blue because the next in that sequence is blue. Our minds are conditioned to um, respond to patterns. And so because there had been a pattern of just trauma and bad things happening in my life, um, I just expected bad things, you know. Um, but I was, I ended up being surprised every time um, because it would be the opposite of what I expected. And um this is just part of our healing. This is part of God um, washing the past seasons off of us um, and, and bringing us into our new season so that we don't have to look over our shoulders, you know. Um, so this is what God is doing. And, you know, even he's he's given perspective, you know, because not every season of quote unquote bad things that we go through is it's not always a time of correction or punishment. You know what I'm saying? Sometimes you're just being tested. Sometimes um, you are being elevated and it's just opposition from the enemy. In this particular case for me, it was heavy opposition from the enemy because the Lord wanted to elevate me and he has been elevating me um, in the midst of all the warfare. And so you really have to get with the Lord and understand um, his perspective about what you're going through why you're going through it, what is the purpose for it? Because if not, you can misjudge your particular season and, um, you know, not understand um, what you're supposed to get out of it, what you're supposed to learn. And even other people can misjudge um, your season as well and misjudge you. And, you know, um, the Lord also spoke about exposure and how he is, uh, exposing the exposing what's in people's hearts toward us, um, bad and good. So, um, the, the good things that, that are in people's hearts toward us, he's going to be exposing that as well. Um, but even on a small scale, um, um, you know, he's, he's bringing things to light. He's bringing things to light on a massive scale within the world, within the earth, within his church, he's bringing, he's uncovering so many things. Um, but that's another word for another time. Um, getting back to what I was originally talking about. Um, God is, um, God is, uh, beginning a new pattern where he is going to, it's going to cause favor and, um, blessings. And this is not some sort of prosperity type of thing where, you know, you know, cause our minds tend to do that. Like we hear like, oh, you're going to be rich, but you know, it could be a word from God, but sometimes our minds kind of fill in the blank of what we think God is saying instead of asking him, what do you mean by this? You know, cause you know, um, he doesn't, always tell you the warfare that you're going to have to go through, the things that you have to break, the things that you have to come out of agreement with in order to um, meet the word that he spoke over you, you know. So I'm really excited to share this word. I'm really excited that 
the beginnings of breakthrough are showing because there's so many levels there's so many levels to this and i just pray that all of us can have the perspective that we need to understand what's going on with us at this present moment you know what god is is expecting of us in this present moment so um yeah that's all i have to say and um i i really pray that you guys have a very fun and safe holiday and um also thank you everybody who um let me know that they got their perfume um i've been fighting with the usps um because they they've been sending <laughs> some of the um some of the packages back some of the letters back and i've had to resend them and i have to wait until um i have to wait to buy some more stamps to um send the rest of the return letters back so please bear with me if you haven't gotten yours yet um uh yeah so i i really hope that you guys all get yours soon and thanks for all the compliments on my handwriting you guys are really sweet and i'm really glad that i got to share that with you guys i hope you guys are doing well and yeah please reach out to me for any prayer requests if you have them i might not be able to respond immediately but i do always see them and i do pray for you um so yeah, I hope you guys have a good rest of your day and I hope you ha guys have a fun day tomorrow. And yeah, I just I just feel like I should pray really quickly. Heavenly Father, I just come to you right now and I thank you for allowing me to get back on here and speak to the homies. Um I ask Lord that you just protect them. I plead the blood of Jesus over every single person watching this message. In the name of Jesus, I ask that you protect them wherever it is they may be traveling. God, I ask that you protect their minds. God, give us perspective. Give us perspective about what what is going on with us right now, God. Why we're in this particular situation. Um, God, I, I ask that you... Um, bring elevation god and silence the the voice of the accuser silence every tongue that has been raised up against us in the name of jesus lord i i ask that you bring surprises in the name of jesus i ask that if anybody is feeling lonely lord if anybody is just having a hard time in this season lord i ask that you remember them remember them and give them what they need god as they as they receive this prayer god give them what they need god in the name of Jesus, I thank you and I praise you, God, for all these things. Amen. Well, that's all I have today. I'll talk to you again when the Lord leads me back on here. Bye, guys.